morning welcome to the world of chemistry and as usual let's start with the positive mindset today's thought is life is not a competition life is about helping and inspiring others so we can each reach our potential so dear students the purpose of life is to serve others however when doing so you should not expect something in return so your attention should be to listen to uh, serve other people and service to others should be sincere and done from by heart only then it is going to be fruitful so dear students just i want to bring uh, in your attention that do uh, do you think that any tree it is eating its fruit itself no this is this teaches us that human beings should not only use their mind body and speech for themselves but also serve this for other also when you do this nature in return will reward you okay so dear students uh, let's understand this thought life is not a competition yes it, there should be healthy competition but it should not be like a pulling leg competition and uh, in the life you should help and inspire other always so dear students in this difficult situation of covid 19 we should not think about the competition we should not use our mind to just put others like pull others like so it's about to share and care the notes okay so please you just keep on sharing the notes this will help each other so this is digital classes name of the subject is chemistry and today we will study about the electrode potential and uh, before going to start once again i'm going to introduce as uh, some of the student they were asking about some small queries about the confusion related to electrochemistry so i i have started with the new new uh, way of introduction today so electrochemistry is the study of production of electricity from energy released during spontaneous chemical reaction and the use of electric energy uh, use of electric energy uh use of electric energy to bring about non spontaneous chemical transformation so try to understand here it is a branch of chemistry basically electrochemistry is the branch of chemistry which is made up of two word electric energy and chemical energy we are going to take both the simultaneously so it is the study of production of electricity from the energy it is study of production of electricity we are producing electricity how the electricity is producing from the chemical reaction that we are going to study here and Uh, generally if i'll say in your daily life you are using the battery or cell in your daily life so how that cell is using how that cell is uh, uh, generating electricity that chemistry we are studying that is called electrochemistry so basically it is uh, showing oxidation reduction okay oxidation and reduction so if we'll take one example of oxidation reduction suppose here zinc plus 2 hydrogen ion give us zinc 2 positive and hydrogen gas so if you will see the oxidation number of zinc it is 0 if you will see hydrogen there is plus 1 if you will see on the product zinc become plus 2 and hydrogen become 0 so it mean that there is some increase and decrease in oxidation number okay so as you can see the plus 1 become 0 and 0 become plus 2 so it mean that zinc zinc lost two electron zinc have losing of two electron it mean that two electron lost in zinc and here one electron gain okay so what is the reduced reduced is the oxidizing agent where it is reduced that is oxidizing agent so hydrogen oxidized with zinc by taking one electron okay so hydrogen oxidized by taking one electron from zinc whereas zinc get reduced by giving the electron to hydrogen okay so we need to understand here oxidizing and reducing agent so let's see now if we understood once electrochemistry and the redox reaction then we need to see electrochemical cell although this is very small uh, so i want to just bring it a little bit in zoom so what is electrochemical cell it is the cell that convert chemical energy to electric energy it is the cell that convert chemical energy into electric energy okay and is called daniell cell this is a example of daniell cell and it has an electrical potential equal to 1.1 volt when concentration of zinc and copper ion is unity then zinc and uh, copper ion is unity concentration of zinc and copper ion is unity and it that time it is producing 1.1 volt such a device is called galvanic cell or voltaic cell so i think it is clear to you now galvanic cell and voltaic cell is same and uh, it is a, a kind of uh, daniell cell okay so it uh, if an external opposite potential 
if an external or opposite potential is applied in the galvanic cell and increase slowly we find that the reaction continues to take place till the opposing volt uh, voltage reaches to the value of 1.1 volt when the reaction stop all together and no current flow through the cell this is a this is a situation they are taking and further increase in the external potential again start the reaction but in the opposite direction it now function on the electrolytic cell it means that it is giving the relationship of electrochemical cell when the electrochemical cell is behaving like galvanic cell voltaic cell and when the electrochemical cell behave like electrolytic cell okay when the electrode potential yeah you can say the uh, potential of electrode is less then it is behaving like voltaic cell and when it is more then it will be behaving like uh, electrolytic cell okay any further increase in external potential against our direction what the opposite direction it is now behaving like electrolytic cell so uh, this kind of cell behave both if the increase temperature is uh, if the potential is increased then it is electrolytic cell if the potential will decrease then it is galvanic cell okay so this kind of cell is very simple two container are there two electrodes are there two electrolytes are there salt bridge connect the circuit and uh, there is electron flow from the circuit okay this is we have done already so there are two type of uh, uh, situation now c1 first situation is about the when e external force is less than 1.1 volt at that time electron flow from zinc to ro copper rod electron flow from zinc to copper rod at that time current flow from copper to zinc okay when electron flow from zinc to copper the current flow opposite always so zinc dissolve at anode and copper deposit at cathode this is a voltaic cell den uh, denier cell whereas in case of this when e external force is equal to 1.1 volt no flow of electron is there no chemical reaction is there it means that we should we we need the electron um, less than 1.1 volt then it will behave like this so next is galvanic cell a galvanic cell in this device that gives energy of spontaneous redox reaction is converted into electric uh, work which may be used for running or motor or other electric gadget like heater or fan geyser okay this is that kind of a battery which we are using to run heater fan and geyser denier cell discussed earlier is one such cell in which the following redox reaction is occurring it is same zinc losing electron copper gaining electron so this reaction is combination of two half cell which addition gives the overall reaction in which copper is behaving like reduction and uh, zinc is behaving like oxidation because loss of electron is called oxidation and gain of electron is called reduction this reaction occur in the two different portion of denier cell the reduction half cell reaction is the copper electrode while the oxidation half cell occur in the zinc electrode these two portion of the cell are called half cell which is called redox couple the copper electrode may be called the reduction half cell and the zinc electrode is called oxidation half cell this we have done already in the previous video also this is also the same but my dear students i want to take especially uh this concern to you each half cell consists the metallic electrode you know which is immersed in the electrolyte the two half cell are connected by metallic wire through a voltmeter okay to just complete the circuit sometime both the electrode dipped in the same electrode also electrolyte solution also in such case we do not require a salt bridge some of the cell you saw uh, the both the electrode have dipped in the same electrolytes at each electro electrode electrolytes interface there is a tendency of metal ion from the solution to deposit on the metal electrode which is trying to make it positively charged at the same time metal which is uh, tendency to go into the solution as ion and leave behind the electron of the electrode trying to be become it make it negatively charged this is the uh, chemistry which is occurring inside the electrolytes that is showing it uh, you can read it again at equilibrium there is a separation of changes charges and depending on the tendency of two opposite direction it mean that at equilibrium stage when e uh, e exer external force is equal to 1.1 volt at that point there is no reaction there is no uh, that conversion of electron okay and the potential difference develop between the electrode and electrolyte which is called electrode potential this is our today's topic basically up to this we did yesterday so this was the revision now i will i want to just focus on the today's topic that is what see electrode two different type of electrodes are there which is immersed in the two different electrolytes having different cell potential because of that electron is transferring so we are talking about that potential difference a potential difference develop between the electrode and the electrolytes between the electrode and electrolytes which is called electrode potential basically and when the concentration of all the species involved in half cell is unity then the electrode potential is known as standard electrode potential when the electrode potential is known as standard electrode potential sep 
और वी विल डिस्कस नाउ आफ्टर दिस एस एच ई मीन स्टैंडर्ड हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ सेल विच हेल्प अस टू आइडेंटिफाई द सेल इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल विच हेल्प अस टू बेसिकली आइडेंटिफाई द सेल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड and standard electrode is used always to find out if because its value is unity so it is not going to change the concentration of electrolyte so by that we can come to know by calculating what is the potential difference we are calculating potential difference so some of the questions are related to potential difference now so according to iupsc convection standard reduction potential are now called standard electrode potential in a galvanic cell the half cell in which oxidation take place is called anode and negatively potential with respect to the solution on the other hand half cell the reduction takes place which is called cathode this you know very well it has positively charged per, uh, electrode and the thus there exist a potential difference between the two electrode and as soon as the switch is in uh, in the on position an electron flow from negative electrode to positive electrode this you know and the direction of current flow opposite to that electron flow now try to understand this if suppose if suppose uh, in a cell sorry uh, sorry 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 if in a cell if in a cell uh one you know very well uh, in any kind of cell i i will draw here only we know in a simple galvanic cell there is two uh this half cell in which two rod is immersed in some electrolytes suppose you take example of uh, this is zinc this is copper okay and zinc is negatively charged copper having positive charge okay this is called anode this is called cathode and electron this these two cell are mean connected with a wire and one salt bridge is there which make the stable neutral now the electron which is losing from anode side is called oxidation and the electron which side gain is called cathode and it is positively charged and it is called reduction okay now how much electrons are moving from this side to this side that depend on the cell potential of this electrode and this electrode now she or you can say the standard electrode potential help us to know how many electrons are there yeah what is the cell potential of this and this electrode okay hope so you understood so now let me remove these all things now in the next slide we will come to understand the potential difference between the two electrode of galvanic cell is called cell potential and it is measured in volt okay so the electrode potential of two electrode is known as cell potential which is measured in volt the cell potential is difference between electrode potential which is called reduction potential and uh, of the cathode anode it is also known as emf electromotive force of the cell when no current is drawn through the cell it is now an expect accepted convention that we keep the anode on the left and cathode on the right hand side while representing the galvanic cell the galvanic cell is generally representing by putting a vertical line between metal and electrolytes okay so uh, under the convention the emf of cell of positive end is given to the potential of half cell on the right hand side minus and potential of the half cell on the left hand side it mean that it they are uh, it is clearly showing that two electrodes are there this side which is left side that is always negative charge in galvanic cell right side that is always positive charge okay so it is right minus left how to find out the emf or you can say e cell it is same thing electro it is the cell potential so how we can represent the cell potential in equation we will write e and we will write in subscription cell when we are going to find out e cell as it is written here let me uh little bit zoom it e cell is equal to e right minus e left now what is the meaning of e right and e left this you should know very well what is e right e left e right is cathode e left is anode so it will be always c cathode minus anode okay so don't be confused dear students it will be always e cell is cell potential okay is equal to cathode minus anode so this is very important this equation is very important as you are doing some of the numericals in future so you should know you must know uh, first what we will write second what we will write we will write cathode first then we will write anode second okay in case of galvanic reaction so this is a uh, basically 
uh, one reaction then this can be illustrated by the following reaction suppose see the reaction copper plus 2 silver will cook, give copper 2 positive and 2 silver it means that the reaction is occurring how cathode is occurring in silver now because silver is uh, gaining 2 electron and becoming silver solid whereas in anode the oxidation is occurring copper is losing two electron because of that copper become copper solid to copper two positive and here it is anode here it is cathode so it become e right minus left it means that e cathode minus e anode so you can see here in the bottom in this you can see how it is written here e cell is equal to e right minus e left and e right is cathode cathode is silver so it will be silver minus copper okay otherwise student can write copper minus silver so it is wrong so we will write always reduction minus oxidation you can keep like this way also so it can be seen in the sum of the above reaction lead overall reaction that cell that silver electrode act as cathode and copper electrode act as anode so we will represent the cell reaction one more thing i want to tell you here uh, especially see the representation of cell this is very important dear students copper solid this reaction is written in cell reaction form copper solid then one line is you can see here this line is showing the uh, rod and electrolytes a reaction between same half cell then there is uh, silver and silver this is second silver minus uh, silver uh, one line you can see this line is representation of interreaction between same electron is moving from here to here it means that losing two electron here gaining of one electron and we have e cell is equal to e right minus e left e cathode minus e anode okay and uh, silver is cathode copper is anode so because of uh, this cathode minus anode so in the next we will see now measurement of electrode potential uh, okay so this is all about how to find out the e cell so once again i am going to repeat e cell can be calculate by e cathode minus e anode or you can say e right hand minus e left hand or you can say it will be e reduction minus e oxidation okay so hope so you understood in three different way i told so you see basically in your book also some of the question related to this now this is all about how to find out cell potential now how to measure the cell potential now measurement of cell potential yeah, electrode potential the potential of individual half cell cannot be measured we can measure only the difference between the two half cell potential that gives the emf of the cell now dear student we are finding emf cell so according to that uh, a half cell called standard hydrogen electrode mean uh, we can find out one uh, electro potential of one half cell also although uh, in the previous we, that uh, slides we have seen the we were finding the cell potential difference between two half cell but in this case particularly we can find out the half cell of single uh, single half cell also electro potential of single half cell also this is called standard hydrogen electrode as represented in platinum uh, platinum and hydrogen reaction so it is a sign that zero potential at the temperature corresponding so h positive when gain one electron h positive will gain one electron it is becoming half h2 it means that it becomes single h okay in the form of gas so the standard hydrogen electrode consists of a platinum electrode coated with platinum black uh, and the electrode is dipped in the acidic solution and pure, hyd pure hydrogen gas which is bubbled through it the concentration of both are reduced and oxidized form of hydrogen which is maintained at unity this implies that the pressure of hydrogen gas is one bar and the concentration of hydrogen ion is solution of one molar it means that why it is called standard because the concentration of hydrogen is one bar here one bar specially and the solution concentration is one mole okay so uh, the pressure is one bar that's why uh, it is known as standard electrode potential standard hydrogen electrode potential so again if you are getting confused with the word electrode potential so what is electrode potential let me explain you again uh, whenever we are talking about electrode and electrolyte you know very well the electrochemical cell is the uh, basic basic chemistry in electrochemical cell is the difference in electrode electrode and electrolyte okay and metal ion in the solution have tendency to leave the electrolyte actually metal ion in solution I mean electrode in solution has tendency to leave the electrolyte and deposit on the electrode electron can leave the electrolytes and it can deposit in electrode which is trying to make it positively charged and similarly at metal, metal electrode uh, metal atom can lose electron 
this lost electron is going to be transferred into the next electrode where electro electron can be deposited okay similarly zinc is losing electron and uh, copper is gaining electron so how many uh, what is the electro potential of zinc and what is the electro potential of copper this difference is called cell potential difference and uh, to find out the measurement and to find out the value we need to find out uh, we, we need to use that uh, hydrogen electrode okay so because of that we are using hydrogen this is the diagram of hydrogen electrode so there you can say one uh, half cell is only there there is no two half cell there is only one half cell in which uh, one you can see this uh, apparatus is arranged and one rod hydrogen rod is there with the platinum end this is platinum end and uh, this platinum end is breaking down HCl into H positive and Cl negative whereas these H positive is form in the uh, is present in the form of hydrogen gas okay and because of that this hydrogen has although already this is one bar pressure at one bar pressure and one mole solution so this is standard form so by by calculating with this we can find out the electrode potential of any electrode so if the concentration of oxidized and reduced form of species in the right hand half cell is unity then the cell potential is equal to standard electro potential it is very simple suppose uh, if suppose zinc have 3 0.34 volt okay and if we want to find out the electro potential of zinc and how we can find out the electro potential of zinc we can find out the electro potential of zinc by calculating it with the hydrogen whereas it is one so uh, the value of uh, what zero is zero plus zero point three four it is becoming same 0.34 in this way we can find out okay so let's start sometime metal like platinum and gold are used as inert electrode they do not participate in the reaction but provide their surface for oxidation and reduction and for the conduction of electrons this is uh, the reason why platinum is used in hydrogen electrode okay so for example platinum is used in the following half cell hydrogen electrode platinum uh, is with hydrogen gas which give us hydrogen positive and hydrogen positive when gain one electron it is giving half h2 gas okay which is called bromine electrode and when we will do it with bromine electrode so it is forming a half cell reaction with half cell reaction half bromine is getting electron and it become bromine you can take hbr you can take cl also in the sum of the book it is giving with chlorine also okay so uh, basically oxidizing and reducing agent we uh, we have discussed we already we have discussed about electro uh, cell potential now in next video I'm going to tell you about the cell potential or EMF with the help of that we can measure the electro potential okay so before that like let's discuss one small topic that is oxidizing oxidizing and reducing agent the reducing strongest oxidizing agent now why we are discussing oxidizing and reducing agent here because of that more the oxidizing agent more will be the cell potential so because of these oxidizing and reducing agent we can come to know the difference of cell difference in cell potential with the different electrode okay the strongest oxidizer have the most positive reduction potential and the stronger reducer have the most negative reduction potential okay it is showing us the potential of electrode power of electrode more the positive charges more more the positive charges you can say it means that more stronger oxidizer it is more the negative charge on any electrode it means that more the stronger reducer it is okay by keeping this the greater the difference between the two the greater the voltage of the cell simple Sometimes what is happening in our daily life we are using two type of cells suppose sometimes we are uh, saying that ki, okay we will buy the simple battery suppose ever ready ever ready company battery and uh, second is uh, suppose uh, uh, one, one is that ever ready and second is uh, mm, suppose take any Panasonic or any other okay yeah usually you are using in the mobile also uh, you are telling this Samsung mobile having uh, is is very good in battery backup whereas uh, other Chinese mobile are very less uh, it, it doesn't have a good battery backup so that difference is what that difference is due to the oxidizing and reducing agent or you can say the EMF value of your yeah, cell potential of that electrode okay if we will take example of copper and zinc you can see here zinc negative charge is 0 minus 0 0.76 it is it is it means that it is good uh, reducer whereas copper is 0 0.34 positive charge it means that more the positive more the positive uh, more the oxidizing agent more the positive mean more high uh, now which element is here that will be more more positive than copper it means that more oxidizer agent than copper if any value is there it means that more negative more negative than zinc it means the more reducing agent okay so because of this 
the difference now what is the difference between these two positive and negative electrode it is simple cathode minus anode cathode minus anode so as it is shown it's shown there you can see here as it is shown here uh, very you can see here plus 3 4 minus minus 0 0.76 so minus minus plus it become total 1.10 volt it means that that cell in which cell copper and zinc rod is used and copper is behave like cathode and zinc is behave like red, um, anode which is simple voltage cell that has that will produce 1.10 volt okay now you are telling that pencil cell is 1.5 volt that uh, radio cell is having 3 volt so why you are seeing this 1.15 volt 5 3 volt these are the cell potential and how to calculate this this way we can calculate by using this formula e naught cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode okay so this is uh, basically in general language it is called electromotive force which value we are finding this is called electromotive force the potential difference between the anode and cathode in a cell is called electromotive force and it is also called cell potential okay so don't be confused dear students cell potential and electromotive force is same once you again you read uh, from your book if you are not able to get then once again i will teach the same topic no problem standard cell potential is what that already we discussed hydrogen potential cell potential standard word we are using when we are taking it with per unit of charge okay the cell potential at standard condition can be found through this equation it is e naught cell is equal to e naught reduction minus it is same that we have done already we i told you because cell potential is based on the potential energy per unit of charge and it is an intensive property that's why it is called standard so cell potential we can calculate of zinc and copper as the value of zinc is minus 0 0.76 and value of copper is 0 0.34 volt so when we are calculating it will calculate like this way so it is same don't be confused that it is different this is same this and uh, this is same okay so don't be confused so next uh, this is the value this is that value now how we can come to know what is the value uh, how we can come to know okay, this is the zinc value this is copper value so this is one question that i think coming coming in your mind so there is uh, this table is given in your book so if you will see so here you can see uh, if i will talk about especially copper so you can see in front of copper there is plus 0 0.34 let me zoom in front of copper there is plus 3.4 plus 0 0.34 and in plus of in front of zinc there is uh, minus 0 0.76 okay in this way in front of every element there is some value that value is the emf value of that particular electrode okay so reduction potential for many electrode have been measured and tabulated here so from here you can come to know that basically what is the standard reduction potential or what is the emf value of particular elements okay so dear student this is all about for today although this topic is a little bit complicated but if you are not getting anything please do ask i will make one more video related to same topic okay so conclusion electrochemical cell we discussed today electric energy convert into chemical energy and vice versa similar the galvanic cell construction and working we discussed most specially measurement of electrode potential we discussed how to measure the electrode potential of two electrode by a standard hydrogen electrode um, and what is the emf value emf value is same cell potential and what is standard cell potential standard cell potential is the uh, the the value yeah the phenomenon through which we can find calculate the cell potential of any electrode okay so this is all about thanks for watching this video and dear students uh, stay home stay safe take care of your family also and uh, please please feel free to ask me if you have any doubt okay so this is all about thank you have a